Understanding ableitis, a social epidemic. This term might be new to you, but its impact is felt by many every day. Ableitis is a social sickness. It's a pervasive issue that affects countless lives, often invisibly. It's when people without disabilities forget about people with disabilities. This forgetfulness isn't always intentional, but its effects are deeply felt. They don't think about the challenges we face every day. Simple tasks can become monumental obstacles. This can look like ignoring our needs. It can manifest in public spaces, workplaces, and even in social interactions. It can sound like using hurtful language. Words have power and they can wound deeply. Ableitis makes the world harder for us. We need a cure. This cure isn't found in medicine, but in the hearts and minds of people. We need empathy and understanding. These are the first steps towards change. We need everyone to see us, hear us and value us. Inclusion means recognising our worth and contributions. It's time to talk about ableitis and work together to create a more inclusive world. This conversation is long overdue. This isn't just about disability rights, it's about human rights. Every person deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. My story. Navigating a world not built for me. I remember the first time I felt the sting of ableitis. I was a young girl, excited to go to the park with my friends. But when we arrived, I realised the playground was inaccessible for me. I watched from the sidelines, feeling left out and invisible. That experience stayed with me. It was a harsh lesson in the realities of living in a world not designed for everyone. It taught me that the world wasn't always designed with people like me in mind. Every day, I encountered barriers that others didn't even notice. But I refused to let ableitis define me. I decided to turn my frustration into determination. I learned to advocate for myself to challenge assumptions and to celebrate my resilience. I joined groups that fought for accessibility and inclusion and I found strength in our shared experiences. I discovered new passions and hobbies that I could enjoy and I made new friends who understood my journey. Each small victory, each step forward was a testament to my strength and perseverance. Navigating a world not built for me has been challenging, but it has also made me who I am today. I am proud of my journey and the person I have become. Bridging the gap, simple acts of awareness. These small gestures can have a profound impact on the lives of those around us. Curing ableitis starts with awareness. It begins with understanding the challenges faced by people with different abilities. It's about paying attention to the ways our words and actions impact others. Simple things matter. Ask before you help. Always consider the person's autonomy and dignity. Don't assume someone needs assistance. Offer help respectfully. A simple question like, can I help you with that? can go a long way. Be mindful of physical barriers. Keep doorways clear. Ensure that pathways are free of obstacles that could hinder movement. Make sure ramps are accessible. Check that they are not too steep and are in good condition. Small changes can make a big difference. Installing handrails or adjusting the height of desks can significantly improve accessibility. Remember, inclusion is everyone's responsibility. It takes a collective effort 
to create an inclusive environment. Let's work together to create a world where everyone feels seen, heard and valued. By making these small changes and being aware, we can build a more inclusive and supportive community for all. The power of language. Choosing respectful words. Words have power. They can uplift and inspire, or they can hurt and exclude. When talking about disability, choose respectful language. Avoid using outdated terms or slurs. Focus on the person, not the disability. Say person with a disability instead of disabled person. Language evolves. It's important to stay informed and use language that is respectful and inclusive. Section 5. Accessibility matters. Creating inclusive spaces. Accessibility is not a privilege, it's a right. Everyone deserves access to the same opportunities and experiences. When designing spaces, consider the needs of people with disabilities. Make sure buildings have ramps, elevators and accessible restrooms. Think about sensory needs. Provide quiet spaces for people who need them. Use clear signage with high contrast. Creating inclusive spaces sends a powerful message. Everyone is welcome here. Section 6. The importance of listening. Amplifying disabled voices. One of the best ways to combat ableitis is to listen to people with disabilities. Hear our stories. Learn from our experiences. Don't speak for us. Amplify our voices. Support organisations and initiatives led by people with disabilities. When we listen to each other, we build bridges of understanding and create a more inclusive world. Section 7. Challenging Assumptions. Unlearning Ableist Beliefs. Ableitis often stems from unconscious bias and ableist beliefs. We need to challenge these assumptions and unlearn harmful stereotypes. Don't assume you know someone's abilities or limitations based on their appearance. Everyone's experience is unique. Be open to learning and growing. Educate yourself about disability rights and social justice. Section 8. A call for empathy. Stepping into someone else's shoes. Empathy is the antidote to ableitis. It's about putting yourself in someone else's shoes and trying to understand their perspective. Imagine navigating a world not designed for you. Think about the daily barriers and challenges you might face. When we practice empathy, we cultivate compassion and create a more just and equitable society. Section 9. Join the conversation, share your voice, make a difference. Curing ableitis is a collective effort. It requires all of us to do our part. Share your voice. Speak up against injustice. Challenge ableist language and behaviour when you see it. Share your experiences and suggestions in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and create a more inclusive world together. Together, we can make a difference.